All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Raka Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect, beginning with the 144,000 men. You know, this is new, there's another lesson. You know, the name of this one is the name of the is the name of the Lord important, right? The names are our brand. The names are our brand, right? Um, you know, and it's a conversation I was having. You know, and it, it just clicked to me. You know, we are the men of the Lord, the prophets say, Lord, are brand ambassadors. You know, and um, the name, just like how we have a brand name. You know, you have the sports brands, Nike, Adidas, Puma. You have um, other type of brand names in the food, food industry, food chains like Subway, KFC, you know, Pizza Hut, all these things, McDonald's, all right, all these brand names. You know, the name, a name is important, all right? You know, some people who say, you know, a name is nothing. You know, it doesn't matter about the name. Yeah, it's just the product or maybe the product may represent the person's life, the type of life they live and whatnot. But no, your names are important. You hear the elder apostles go into the name, you know, in, um, no man, woman, name prediction, right? The name, a lot of times, determines, you know, the, the outcome of the person, you know, what the person does, good or bad, you know, and type of life or your lot, you know, that, that the Lord set for you. It, it's all spiritual, even the names in your world. You know, the... Um, the beloved um, elder Kazakia Allah out of Mississippi, you know, went into that. You know, names. Alright, and um, it's important to understand that, you know, in this truth. Alright. You know, um, the name helps us and is related to a lot of different aspects of this truth. First and foremost, the names are linked to our identity as a nation. You know, second, you know, the names and the names name is of the Lord is necessary for salvation. Also, um, the name of the Lord is um, is powerful in pulling down strongholds, you know, and consuming this wicked kingdom, and that and that's the vibration that we under. All right, the same way they have different brands. All right, they have different the different brands have different ways of doing. They have recipes, you know. Um, the same way we have the hundred percent truth, you know. We sing this song and we sing it, Lord will ensure the, the right way. All right, the pure doctrine, the perfect doctrine. That's the recipe. That's the secret. It's like the secret ingredients. All right? And the name now is the vibration for all of that. And that's the importance of the name. You can't just say in a way, you know, no matter what names you call the Lord, you can call him Jesus, you can call him Yeshua. No, no, all that's bullshit. Because that's a different vibration altogether. Look at the, um, the image they, they propagated for the Lord a long time. You know, this white man image. All right? You know, and now it's being revealed. You know, and the lies are being, are being um, exposed, you know, and people still want to call him Jesus, all right? Failure, and they want to call the Father God or, or Yahweh or whatever the hell it is. But it's all, it's all wrong. The Lord has one name. The Father has one name. Our Lord Yahweh Shai has one name, all right? One name. The scripture goes into that, all right? Um, let me see that name one. Let's see, if, let's see what we pull up here. Uh... <clears throat> Let's get in the New Testament here. All right. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you know, um, Let's see if we can find this here. There we go. All right. Zechariah 14 and 9. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai shall be king over all the earth. In that day shall there be one Lord, Yahweh, and his name one. Right? His name one. That's what I was going back into. You know, so the Lord has one name. All right. They can't translate the Lord's name. I right, can't call him by a different, different name because it's all a different vibration. Or else, why did the Lord tell? Um, let me go back to the book of Matthew. Tell the Lord's parents what to name him. Matthew 1 and verse um, 
21, it says, And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai. When you go into this word, they have so called Jesus as a damn lie. It's Yahweh Shai. For he will save his people from their sins, right? So that's that's the thing about it. So it's Yahweh Shai. The word Jesus just goes back into earth pig. Right? It has no proper meaning, no vibration. A name is a song, therefore what? It's a certain vibration. Or a shaking. Now let's get the word vibration. Alright, vibration meaning vibration uh to quiver to shake quick um tremble reverberate right it's a beat and so it goes back into the song that we sing right if you if you if you call the lord the wrong name like some of these camps out here a higher a shire your shire you know and, and all these things which is going off all right you you have a different beat different you you so therefore what if you have a different beat don't you dance to the beat or you sing the song to a certain beat so they, so that means you'll be singing to the wrong beat you know it's as simple as that that's how powerful in the names are all right so hey this thing is serious um let me see this the importance of names all right our names are incredibly important for identity. They carry deep personal, cultural, familial, and historical connections. They also give us a sense of who we are, the communities in which we belong, and our place in the world. And very, that's very true. All right? You know? More than mere labels, names are deeply woven into our sense of self and communities we form part of. Right? You know? So, a name, a name, a name ain't just a name. It's important, it's a vibration, you know? Um, why are names so powerful? Picking out a name is a powerful and consequential process. Names convey and carry meaning, right? Like Yahweh Shai. Yah meaning he, Yahweh Shai meaning deliverer or savior. Or he saves, he delivers. They reveal something about who we are, where we come from, and where we're headed. And that's important for Yahweh Shai. You know, and Yahweh, the name of the Lord. Israel was called by the name of the Lord. Right? So who we are. And then where we come from. We come from Israel. We are the Israelites. And where we heading, we know we heading for the new kingdom. Alright? And Yahweh Shai plays a vital role in that. And without that name, ain't no salvation coming to you. Right? What about the tribe of, of, of Judah? Yahweh da, Yahweh's praises. That just goes to show, you know, that all these people calling the Lord by different names, Most High and Christ, Bless, um, um, God, Yahweh, um, um, Ahaya, all right? You know, all these things are off, right? Because the Lord discontinued us from his heritage, all right? We lost that name, all right? You know, Jeremiah 17 and 4 say, the Lord say you'll be discontinued from your heritage. So we lost the name, but now, you know, the Lord has given us back. Isaiah chapter 63 and verse 17, it reads, O Lord, Yahweh, why hast thou made us to err from thy ways? When they go into that word, Lord, all caps, it's Yahweh, right, in the Hebrew, all right? So the Lord made us to err from his ways and hardened our heart from thy fear. Return for thy servant's sake the tribes of thy inheritance. The people of thy holiness have possessed it but a little while. Our adversaries have trodden down thy sanctuary. Right, these devils. We are thine. Thou never bearest rule over them. These heathens pretending to be us. They were not called by thy name. So we were called by the name of the Lord. Which is part of our identity as a nation, a nation of Israel. Alright. That name is important to identify who we are. Alright. This is why when we come back to the Lord... All right, guess what the Lord has to give us back? One of the first things he had to give us back is the name. That's why in the book of, um, when you go to the book of Baruch, um, Baruch 2, verse 29, it goes into it. It says, Baruch 2 and 29, um, If you will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations where I will scatter them. For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people. But 
in the land of their captivities they shall remember themselves right and and you know, listen to listen to the next few verses all right so when we remember ourselves what we're going to think about all right it says and thou and shall know that i am the lord yahweh their power for i will give them a heart a mind and ears to hear right and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity how are you going to praise the lord and you don't know his name all right and think upon my name right so why why you think it's important to think upon the lord's name that's why uh, um satan with our elders and their elders you know the name came about the true name came about yahweh why yahweh shy yahweh being the heavenly father you know you know the ancient of days yahweh shy being the only begotten son our lord and savior all right because we as a nation you know you know, at the end of the day, we have, we have to come back to that name because that's, that linked to our identity. The names are linked to our identity as a people. All right? Facts. Okay, now let's get the book of Isaiah. Book of Isaiah, chapter 48 and verse 11. It reads, For mine own sake, even for mine own sake, will I do it. I bring us back to, to, to righteousness. All right? Um, for how should my name be polluted? I will not give my glory unto another. Right? And all these heathens, the Lord shared his glory long enough. We call him um, these fucking heathens, uh, um, Jesus Christ, God, you know, looking like a so called white man or all lies. Right? When the scripture says, you know, don't call on any, on any false God, that's the commandments. All right? Don't call on the names of these false fucking gods. All right? This is why the Lord, when the Lord brings us back, is known he will give us back his name all right leviticus 19 and 12 um it says and he shall not swear by my name falsely neither shall thou profane the name of thy power i am yahweh bashem yahweh shai all right let's go into the word profane meaning profane <clears throat> Not respectful of religious practice, irrelevant, ir irreverent, and religion just means to um to worship, right? Um, you know, treat with irreverence or disrespect, violate, desecrate, yeah, like change any Lord name, all right? You know, but the Lord what the Lord give us back His name, in this time, all right, so that we could praise Him properly, so that we wouldn't be profaning His name anymore, all right? Ezekiel 39 and verse 7, it reads, <clears throat> So will I make my holy name known in the midst of my people Israel. Right? So the Lord said plainly here, He's going to make His name known in the midst of His people Israel. And I will not, so in other words, we didn't know the name. Right? But now we know it to say, and, and I will not let them pollute my holy name anymore. And the heathen shall know that I am Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel. So, they're going to know that because when we get back that name, you know, they're going to be in fear. The scripture said the name of the Lord is dreadful among the heathen. The name of the Lord is dreadful among the heathen. These, these fucking heathens, these nasty ass heathens, these Hamites, these Edomites, all right, these Moabites, Ammonites, all of them, they fear the name of the Lord. Psalm 102 and verse 15, why think that the name of the Lord is not written in these scriptures like this? Psalm 30 and 4 goes into that. Psalm, this is Psalm 102 and verse 15. So the heathen shall fear the name of the Lord and all the kings of the earth thy glory when Yahweh shall build up Zion, monument of Israel. Right? That monument. And you go, you go, uh, um, go into the word monument. Alright? So the Lord right now building up Zion. So they say they're going to fear the name of the Lord when he build, because the name of the Lord being preached. Right? On the highways and the byways. On the unicorn, the internet, YouTube, TikTok, all right? He shall appear in his glory, all right? So in the name of the Lord being preached first and foremost, and then the Lord is going to come, right? Going back to 2 Thessalonians 2, I believe around the 8th verse, right? Um, they shall be consumed by the, by the spirit of his mouth and destroyed by the brightness of his coming. So by the men of the Lord preaching that name and bringing out that vibration, it's bringing in your shy. It's bringing in Yahweh Shai to come and, and, and destroy this place. Alright, now let's get the book of Malachi chapter 1 and verse 14. 
It reads, But cursed be the deceiver, which hath in his flock a male, and voweth and sacrificeth unto the, the Lord a corrupt thing. You know, these devils. Alright? This corruption of the corruption of the name of the Lord. For I am a great king, saith Yahweh Bashim Yahushai of hosts. And my name is dreadful among the heathen. So these heathens are afraid of the name of the Lord. Because they know it has power. That's why these, these, these small hatters, they call them by what? Hashem. You know the name. They don't even call them by Yahweh. And why Yahweh shy? They hide that away. Right? So the point is the name, name has to come. You know, with this great awakening, it's very important. Isaiah 52 and verse 6, it says, Therefore my people shall know my name. Right? What are, what are these niggas talking about? You know, what are these people talking about? Uh, um, you don't, um, we don't know the names. Um, the name not important. No, the name is important. You're going to see why. Therefore my people shall know my name. Therefore they shall know in that day that I am he that doth speak. Behold, it is I. Alright? Behold, it is I. The name of the Lord. That's the power. Alright, the power comes from the name. Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. That's, in, that's the power. Alright? Sirach chapter 36, verse 12. Right? You, you, you remember um, the movies? Like in the movie um, Shazam? He calls on the name of these four squad. That's what he, the, uh, Shazam is an acronym or an abbreviation for the names of different gods. Right? But we call on the name of our power, our God, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and our Lord. Because Yahweh Shai is the conduit. He's the mediator and the conduit to that power. You know? Um, we, that's why we need to go through the Son, to go to the Father, to, to access that power. Alright? You know, that's how we do it. Sirach. Chapter 36 and verse 12, it reads, um, O Lord, have mercy upon the people that is called by thy name, and upon Israel, whom thou hast named thy firstborn. Alright? So we, we call by the Lord's name, Israel. That is, is, is vitally important to understand that. Isaiah 43, verse 7, it reads, Ev Even everyone that is called by my name, um, let me see, um yeah isaiah 43 and 6 i will say to the north give up and to the south keep not back bring my sons from far and my daughters from the ends of the earth even everyone that is called by my name talking about who the israelites for i have called him for my glory i have formed him yea i have made him right the name represents it goes into also the doctrine all right when you go into this, the, the word brand, because I, I mentioned um, it's a brand. Names are our brand. Let, let's get the meaning of brand. Brand meaning. Brand. <clears throat> it says a type of product manufactured by a particular company under a particular name. All right? A type of product. We're going into what? This truth. This doctrine. All right? Because this product come from the, the Lord, from heaven. You know, from the from the, the, the holy place of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, it wouldn't like the company. Alright? An innumerable company of angels. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and an innumerable company of angels. Alright? You know, manufactured by a company. So this is truth. This understanding. Hundred percent truth. And the name represents the doctrine. Alright? True doctrine. You know, given by the, the, the father, you know, you know, that that's what it goes back to. In the holy promises, everything is linked to that. Alright? And the Holy Spirit is what equips us, you know, to get to understand this name and to bring out the 100% the, the truth. Because the scriptures say, um, the Holy Spirit will, will, will uh, be roughly paraphrasing, will give you understanding in all things. Right? I believe it's the book of John. I believe it's the book of John. Uh, chapter 14. Verse 26, it says, But the Comforter, which is, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name. Once again, woo! Alright, the Holy, oh, the Holy Spirit coming in. The name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Not the name of Jesus. Not the name of Most High Christ Blessed. 
Not the name of Yeshua, Yahushua, or whatever the fuck they, they, what lies they, they're preaching. All right? Name, name shall, it shall come what the Holy Spirit shall send in my name, in the name of Yahweh Shai. He shall teach you all things, including your name, and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. All right? Plain and simple. So, so your name is a symbol. Chamber is a brand. A brand is a symbol, a sign. Um, certain brands, uh, you, you buy the products because why is a sign of quality, right? A sign of um, the food is nutritious, you know, and whatnot, all right? Certain brothers like certain brand names, like a Jordan, all right? You're going to buy it, buy it because it's a brand name. It's associated with quality. In the same way, this name is a brand, you know, in that light, all right? Um, it says an identifying mark burned on livestock. That goes into the other meaning of brand. All right? Because um, Esau has his brand, you know, um, which goes back into his name to the scripture say, um, the mark of the beast, you know, they were marked by his mark, the name of the beast, right? And the number of his name, right? So it goes back to a name again. Now, our brand, in that light, you know, is a spiritual mark. It's causing to use the word, the mark of exemption. Which goes back to the scripture we just read, right? Which is the Holy Spirit, right? Our Holy Spirit that's going to teach you all things, okay? Including the name, all right? So the, the true men of the Lord who are exempt in the time of, who are going to be exempt in the time of judgment, going to have the true name of the Lord, all right? They're going to have the true name of the Lord, all right? Uh, um, according to <clears throat> John 17, verse 6. It says, I have manifested my name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. Preach that name, including the name, the doctrine. Now they have known all that all things whatsoever thou hast given to me are of thee. Why? Through the Holy Spirit. Right? For I have given unto thee the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them. And have known surely that I came out of thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. I pray for them, I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. Right? They are thine. So, so the Lord manifested his name. Alright? To the men, the true men. Alright? That's why we have the name of Yahabashim Yahushai. And Lord willing, we keep it to the end. You know? And we, we know, you know, we, we, we rep that name. Like our rep, our, uh, um, uh, um, our brand ambassador reps the brand name. We rep that name of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai? Right? This is um, um, Sarak chapter 17, verse 10. It reads, And the elect shall praise his holy name. Right? That's right. You know, how the elect going to praise the holy name? Right, because um, first and foremost, the prophets received this word. Amos 3 and 7, the Lord says, Surely the Lord will do nothing, but he revealed his secrets unto his servants. The prophet, the name of the Lord was a secret. When we were, discont we were discontinued from our heritage, we lost that name. It was stripped from us. So, you know, so now the Lord is revealing it through his prophets to go back there, which are the brand ambassadors, bringing back that brand, that name. All right? In that way of living, our true identity. Right now, let's get the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 30 and verse 4. It reads, Who had ascended up into heaven or descended? Who had gathered the wind in his fist? Who had bound the waters in a garment? Who had established all the ends of the earth? What is his name and what is his son's name? If thou canst tell why, because the Lord knew, you know, if, if, if this Jesus and God was the Lord's name. He wouldn't, this, this wouldn't have been written. All right? Because at the end of the day, you would know it from, from what? Let's read any pages of the Bible, but no, they try to hide that away. All right? But it's been revealed by who? The prophets, the brand ambassadors. Okay? Who pushing this word, word out? You know, going into the, um, you know, they have, you know, the, for different brands, they have different advertisements. They advertise for the brand. Yeah, we'll be we advertising for the kingdom. You know, in that name, that brand. Okay? That's, that's what's going on. Okay? And um, the Lord spoke about his men in the book of Revelation. 
because there's a reward for preaching in that name. Revelation 3 and verse 8, it says, I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door. All right? <clears throat> and no man can shut it. All right? For thou hast a little strength. You know, open door going into your mind. All right? Thou hast little strength and hast kept my word because we didn't be in this flesh. But we kept the word. And has not denied my name. Denying the name of the Lord is a serious thing. Um, there are these ca other camps, they deny the name of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? They could call the Lord anything. Like, like, like the IEYC. Alright? Which is a damn lie. Alright? You have to rep the true brand, the true name. Alright? Because some of these men, they took the bag. That's why. Second Ezra chapter 2, verse 47. It reads, <clears throat> So he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of the Heavenly Father, whom thou hast confessed in the world. So we have to confess the Lord. I remember I said the word of the Lord, the name of the Lord is a vibration. So you confess in the Lord, right? You confess in that vibration in the Lord, Yahweh Shai, right? Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of Yahweh Shai, all right? You know, name of Yahweh Shai, name of the Father, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai. Alright? So as I say, we know, um, who's that, what's that, what's that brand ambassador? Let's get that meaning here. <coughs> A brand ambassador. Brand ambassador. A person, especially a celebrity, well, you know, the Lord going to turn us into that eventually, who is paid, um, you know, you're going to make us famous in that light, you know, Slack, yeah? Who is paid to endorse or promote a particular company's products or services, right? Repping the name to the elect, you know, to, they said what, endorse? And when you go into the word endorse, it goes into what? Endorse. It goes into, um, how are you going to say? It means to declare too. Counter sign to subscribe, uh, to uphold, you know, as an advocate, you know, confirm, confirm any word, confirm any name, all right? Um, support, champion, authorize, but really, what it goes into is to what? Declare. To declare. Now, let's get the word to declare. Because the wood, let's the wood endorse. Right, okay, yeah, declare one's public approval or support of. Right, now let's get the wood um, declare what that means. Declare. All right, to say something in solemn and, emph and an em emphatic manner. Proclaim, announce. This is what we do. We preach the wood, we preach the names. All right? And publicize, publish. This is what the Lord wants us to do in the, to the world. Okay? And we have to do this till the end. This is Psalms chapter 22 and verse 20. Deliver my soul from the sword, my darling, from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth, for thou hast heard me from the horns of the unicorn. Right? He wants a unicorn, right? Which goes into the what the, the internet, the satellites. He wants the satellites. I will declare thy name unto my brethren. This is what we're doing. That's brand ambassadors declaring the name of the Lord to the, to the brethren. In the midst of the congregation will I praise thee. So the name is vitally important. Why is it important to get that, that salvation? That's part of the um the, the, the gospel. The name is vitally important. Okay? Um, I have a few precepts to go through. Isaiah chapter 52, verse 7. It reads, How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, right? The gospel that publisheth publish peace. Yahweh Shai is the prince of peace. That bringeth good tidings of um, good tidings of good that publisheth salvation. But yeah, which I means he saves, he delivers. And the scripture goes into that. We're going to get into that, those precepts. 
Lord willing. All right, that said unto Zion, thy power reigneth. Thy watchmen shall lift up the voice, which is the ambassadors, with the voice together shall they sing, singing this song, this 100% truth. You know, truth is like none to a song. You know, you know when sung properly, it, you know, it, it, it's, it's pure, it's clean. For they shall see eye to eye when we have one mind, one doctrine, one name. Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai? When Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai shall bring again Zion. All right, so we're going to have one name. Okay? All right? <laughs> wow, you know what? Hey, hey, hey. Well, praise this to Yahweh Shai. Now let's get the book of Acts. The book of Acts, <clears throat> chapter 4, verse 12. That's the proof. What we're just read. All right, Acts 4 and 12, neither is there salvation in any other. All right, because it is the name of the Lord. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So that's why these wicked devils are going to tell you, you can call the name any, Lord anything because they don't want you to be saved, Israel. They don't want the elect to be saved. All right, that's why they, they push Jesus. That's why they push Yeshua, Yahweh, um, was it, was it Yahushua. You know, or oh, it's all lies. Okay, um, let's get Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. It reads, The name of Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous run it into it and is safe. Do you, you think the global banking leads want you to be safe? No, they don't. No, they don't. All right, they don't. Right, because they want to call on all kind of lies, which you know, which ain't gonna help you. That Jesus helped these people. No, Jesus was was the name of the slave ship that brought us into captivity. All right, you know, go check it out for yourself. Acts chapter two, and um, <clears throat> verse twenty-one. It reads, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, woo. Right, the name of Yahweh Shai shall be saved. Right, that's how we're going to be saved by calling on that name first and foremost, if you having faith in the Lord, the true Lord Yahweh Shai, and having and doing the works which He said to do. All right, and calling on that name that's that's the recipe for salvation. You know, you know, let's get the book of Sirach with the Apocrypha, Ecclesiasticus, um, chapter. <clears throat> chapter 13 and verse 14 it reads love Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai all thy life and call upon him for the sal thy salvation right call upon him a hey, precept upon precept line upon line this is how you understand the scriptures and it's, pre it's clear as day that the name is important for our salvation you know for many for many different things name is vitally important Romans 10 Verse 13, it says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of Yahweh Shai shall be saved. Right? How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe on, in him of whom they have not heard? So, the, so in other words, you're going to have to hear that name. Right? We have to call on the names of Yahweh Shai before he actually comes in. That's how the Lord set it up. We call on the name of the Lord before, and then he comes in and he, he cleans up the shop. All right? You know, he cleans up these heathens. He says, and how shall they believe in him in whom thou have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? Yeah, that's the brand ambassadors. We preach this word. We preach the names. We tell them. We tell the, the, the elect. It says, and how shall they preach except they be sent? Right? Going back to um, Amos 3 and 7. As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel, the good news of peace, and break glad tidings of good things, right? You know, so only the elect going to believe this report. You know, it's a fact. Um, when you go to Acts 8 and 50, you know, um, it goes into Philip and the, and the Ethiopian eunuch. You know, and he said, how, how, how can I understand unless some man teach me? And so we learn this from the elders and the apostles, all right? And now we preaching as well. We teach any names as well. We teach in this one doctrine. This is what the Lord expects of us. This is um <clears throat> doing what Yahweh Shai says, you know, by preaching his name and the father name and the hundred percent doctrine. 
all right, so that you, you know the Lord will 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 keep us from the hour of temptation, mm -hmm. and you know have mercy upon us, Lord willing. Is Ephesians chapter four, and verse eleven, it reads, and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers, but all are what brand ambassadors, right? When you when you when you teach any right brand, you know you call him name, name right, you know if you if you spell. Adidas wrong, nobody ain't gonna buy it. Right, the elect ain't gonna buy it. Elect a program to hear the voice of, of Yahweh Shai. My sheep hear my voice. That vibration. So if you're coming in the wrong voice, yeah, you, you know, you you going yeah, even if the elect fool at first, they're gonna come out of that, they're gonna come into the truth. Alright? It says for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, perfecting meaning completion. Alright? For the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of a Mashiach, right? To build up his body, and the body had to be built on a strong foundation, which is Yahweh Shai. Can be built on Jesus the Christ, right? That devil, that demon, okay? It says, um, till we all come in the unity of the faith, going back into what? That one doctrine, that one mind, the 100% truth, which begins at the name, Right? And of one and of the knowledge of the Son of the Heavenly Father, right? the knowledge of the Son of the Heavenly Father. The knowledge of the Son of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of a Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, that we henceforth may be no more children tossed to and fro, carried about with every wind of doctrine, right? All these false doctrines, these different camps coming out with this Christianity and these other Israelite camps. By the slay of men and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive, right? Because they took the bag. Alright? Therefore, they call it they call only the wrong name. The wrong doctrine. The vibration is completely off. Alright? But you can't be fooled by this. You know, run fast, run far from these camps that push in the wrong name. Alright? It says verse 15. By speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Hamashiach. So that's the facts. All right. <clears throat> okay. So the heathens, hey, they, they're in a mess. They fear the name of the Lord. And we declare in the rulership, we declare in that vibration of the kingdom. All right. Beforehand with the names. You know, so as we call the names of the Lord, you know. You know, which we have to call the name of the Lord before our salvation come. We go to um, the book of, um, let's get the book of um, <clears throat> Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 9. It says, For then will I turn to a people, to the people, a pure language, which is what the Hebrew, which the Lord's name could only be uttered in Hebrew, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai? All right. That they may all. Call upon the name of the, of Yahweh Bashem Yahusha. Hey, this is this word is killing you, killing you all. all right, talk more. The name's not important, you know. No, all right. It says, then I will turn to the people of a pure language in the Hebrew, that they make all call upon the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahusha to serve Him with one consent, one name, one consent. All right. And this, this call, not the name of the Lord, ain't going to happen in the kingdom. Like what Nate say, we go get in the name in the kingdom. No. Then how we hell are we going to be saved? doesn't make any sense. How we, how we could learn the name, which is important and vital for our salvation, after we change? That doesn't make sense. I mean, nobody will get saved if we didn't know the name. No. We have to call on that name. Right? Before the Lord comes. Let's get the book of Isaiah, chapter 19, and verse 20. It reads, um, <clears throat> I'll read from 19. It said, In that day shall there be an altar to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in the midst of the land of Egypt, and a pillar at the border thereof to the Lord, which is in the prophets. All right? And it shall be for a sign and for a witness unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai of hosts in the land of Egypt. Right? The word, the, the brand ambassadors. All right? Pushing the word, pushing the true doctrine. All right? For they shall cry unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Right? We crying unto the Lord because of the oppressors, and he shall send them a savior. So if, how are we gonna cry unto the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai? We had to call on those names, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. 
Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. We had a call on those names. Right? And he shall send them a savior. Which is who? Yahweh Shai. He saves, he delivers. And a great one. And he shall deliver them. Right? So you see order there. The men of the Lord crying unto the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, because of the oppression, oppression one and two, the Lord sending them, sending Yahweh Shai to take down this kingdom. All right? So hey, so the names are important. The names linked to our identity, as you saw, the necessary for salvation and the necessary for taking down the, uh, um, the kingdom. Why? Just get this last precept. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 3 it reads for though we walk in the flesh we do not war after the flesh right for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through power the heavenly father to the pulling down of strongholds so the weapons of our warfare right are not carnal name is a weapon the name of the lord is a weapon all right because it brings that power all right, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and pull down the strongholds, which, which include that the lies and the deception. All right, the false names, including the false names. It says, um, casting down imaginations, right? The fall, the falseness, the false doctrines, Jesus, Yeshua. All right, and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Heavenly Father. Woo! All right, they, these devils hid the names of the Lord. Right? And put and, and change the image, change the name. Right? So they were exalting themselves against the knowledge of the Lord. That's why they have no forgiveness of Esau. Because he blasphemed the holy angels. Right? He, um, you know, he changed the image. It says, and bring it into captivity every thought to the obedience of a Mashiach Yahweh Shai. And having in the red in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your when your obedience is fulfilled right so you have to be the obedient in lord all right and that and that's important so the names of the lord are important right and the names are there's our brand yahweh why yahweh shy pray this lesson was edifying i want to give all praises on and glory unto yahweh bahasham yahweh shy bahasham rakakodash till next time shalom